The Hirsch Fine Art Gallery in Glen Cove recently opened its doors to the public. Transformed from an empty storefront across the street from City Hall, the gallery drew a large turnout of visitors for its opening night. The inaugural exhibit is called Fiction Nonfiction and runs through June 3rd. We hope that this will be a place where artists can come, art lovers can come, young people can come and, and learn about art. And we're excited to sort of bring some, some new, fresh um, painters in here and some, some artists who also who are new to Long Island. We have shows planned already upcoming with um, painters from around the country. We're going to be um, bringing new faces and new ideas um, here. There's a wonderful arts community in Glen Cove and I think it's growing and we'd just like to be part of that. We are thrilled. We've been in uh, Glen Cove for about uh, a little over three years now. And um, but we've been on Long Island for about 13 years. And we've kept a low profile um, for all, all these years and uh, with the um, kind of expansion downstairs and the uh, founding of the um, Hirsch Fine Art Gallery, we, uh, you know, we're hoping to, uh, to just interact with the public uh, you know, quite a bit more than we have in the past. Um, I think it's a great thing for the community and um, it, it, it's just a nice meeting place for artists and the community to interact as opposed to just having a school where it's more of like an inner circle where people can't really interact with the arts. And I just hope that uh, people become more aware of it and feel free to come in and, and engage with other artists. And we spoke with some local Glen Cove residents who say they're absolutely thrilled to have a new art gallery in town. Glen Cove has a gallery that's on a par with Manhattan. I mean, this has put us on the map. I mean, we're so excited. I'm just so excited about it. And I'm really hoping that it will help to initiate a, a new interest in culture and developing culture in the downtown because we already are well known for our music and I think bringing this aspect of, of art into it will just expand our horizons. So I'm, I'm really pleased and I'm hoping that they have all great success here. I've been involved with LIAFA, the Long Island Academy for Fine Arts, since they opened here in Glen Cove. With working with the Arts Council, we've uh, given scholarships, the Michael Califano Memorial Scholarship to young students who've, who've studied art here with Liana Chapana, one of the artists. Uh, one of our students has gone on to Arts uh, College from Glen Cove High School. He uh, worked with, his, with the portfolio, put the portfolio together here at Liafa. And so I'm very excited that they're opening this art gallery. An art gallery with shows and things for the community to come see and promote art you know, all kinds of art. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, the fine arts like painting and drawing, but it could be, uh, you know, they could have music. I mean, you, you could have a whole section here of, instead of a drugstore chain, you may have uh, a music studio where you teach kids how to uh, play instruments, another art studio, uh, acting studio. Uh, so, Glen Cove could always use those. Upstairs from the Hirsch Fine Art Gallery is the Long Island Academy of Fine Art, which has been there for the past three years. The Long Island Academy of Fine Art has a number of um, different classes. Classes in portrait painting, figure painting, um, drawing, fundamentals of drawing and beginning drawing, oil techniques, um, landscape, and still life. The, the gallery is a separate, uh, separate entity from the school, though we have a shared space. And uh, the school has um, a number of different programs within it. We have a young artist's program, 9 to 13 year olds, which is pretty amazing when you see a 9 or 10 or 11 year old uh, doing finished classical oil painting. It's just, it's, it's, really, it's really something to behold. It's, uh, it's amazing. We have a, a high school portfolio prep program for uh, students who want to really, uh, really learn something, learn you know, proportion and light and shadow, oil painting, as well as develop portfolio pieces for their college entry portfolio. We have a general um, adult program, classes in figure drawing, portrait drawing, figure painting, portrait painting, still life painting, landscape painting, uh, a full complete program. Courses in anatomy, composition and design, color theory, um, and, and many more. We also have a whole host of uh, you know, internationally known artists from you know, the country really essentially coming here teaching workshops a short 
uh, workshops from two, three day to full week long workshops. And then we also have um, the uh, Atelier Armada, the full time program, Long Island's first, I believe, and only uh, full time uh, professional track uh, working uh, studio school. I'm a retired nurse and I never had the luxury of going to art school. So painting and drawing at home is so uh, frustrating because you don't get anywhere. And then three years ago I discovered this art school and I almost did a backflip because um, at, l at last I could get art instruction. And this is a first class art academy you know, on a par with, you know, any art school anywhere, you know, so uh, I was so thrilled. And I started off taking one class, the fundamentals of art, and then I started, you know, so, well, maybe I'll try still life, and maybe I'll try, you know, drawing the figure, and, uh, you know, so, and now I'm taking portrait painting, which I love, you know, so um, I'm going to be here <laughs> for the rest of my life, I'm just going to to keep you know, taking classes and discovering new ways of learning about art, learning how to do it, learning how to appreciate it. Um, they have workshops in between the regular semesters, so they have famous artists come here. And the faculty here is top notch. You know, they, they are from uh, you know, famous art schools and, and um, you know, really uh, well-known uh, artists. And so um, I'm just so thrilled um, that Glen Cove has this and that I can be a part of it. <laughs> I have a friend who, whose wife attends this school and she's been t telling me constantly come down and I see it as I pass and I keep saying oh, alright alright so then when they had the opening today I said well I'm just gonna go and see what it is and it reminds me of uh, the successful art schools I've seen in the past. I think art is always good no matter what it is and the more the merrier you can only benefit from having more art. And so if they expand this place, they bring in more children or younger, younger people, uh, it's all, it would be nothing but good. Having the school here is, is a really a tremendous asset. Um, having the students coming in, their families, having them be able, from my perspective, having them be able to see our downtown and what's here. And now being able to flip that around and saying, look what we have in our downtown, look what we can offer you. Um, you really need to come here and see what's going on because we're, we're really starting to change. So I think, yes, it is a tremendous asset. For more information about the Long Island Academy of Fine Art, you can check out the website, liafa.com, and about the Hirsch Gallery, you can check out hirschfineart.com. In Glen Cove, Chris Kalor reporting.